What's up, party people? It's Keys Dan with RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com, coming to you live at a living color from the Radio What Studios. And this is my podcast, What Makes You Famous? It's an extension of the RadioWhat.com internet radio station that I've been running for quite some time. And if you need DJ services, or do I always send you? DJLittleRock.com. One more time, DJLittleRock.com. Check availability and get a free price quote, and maybe you can have me at your next event. You know I like to party with the people. The people need to be entertained. Are you not entertained? Let me entertain you. You know, I've been <laughs> I've been getting invited to do a lot of weddings and karaoke jams. Oh, I'm so excited. I still get to do this after all these years. It just gets better and better and better. It makes me smile so much to be a part of people's weddings and and birthday parties and corporate events i get to be a part of the show and make people happy and that's uh yeah that's what i like doing when i provide the entertainment speaking of entertainment and making people happy today on the program i have gloria nyhart oh you know that name she's out of minnesota she does the ministries gloria nyhart ministries.com check that out she's got a lot of a lot of videos a lot of music out there and a lot of good uplifting words for you. So stick around. I want you to hear a little bit more about Gloria Nyhart. She was on the podcast before. You remember. You remember. Let's find out what's going on with her. Hey, this week's shows, I have one public show, my usual Friday night gig at the Rab in Conway, Arkansas, the Video Dance Party Karaoke Jam. Yes, I said karaoke. You're the stars of the show, Friday night at the Rab from 8 p.m. until 12.30 in the AM. They got a full bar, kitchens open, pool tables. They got a pool tournament on Friday nights. So if you want to try your hand at playing pool and possibly make some money while you're doing it, come on out to the Rab, Conway, Arkansas. Be there. 8 p.m. until 12.30 in the AM. Video dance party, karaoke jam. <laughs> All right, that's enough intro. Let's get into it with Gloria Nyhart. Now, I got her on Skype. Well, I got her on, well, something different, I guess. I, I, I guess we use the Facebook telephone. So I didn't get any video of her. So if you're listening to the audio version and you check out the video version, you'll, you'll just see my smiling face with a static picture of Gloria Nyhart. And hopefully one day, one day, one day I'll get her on the video conference. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get, uh, let's get on with Gloria Nyhart now. Well, tell me, okay. Gloria, what's been going on in the world for you? So glad to have you back on the What Makes You Famous podcast. Tell me a little bit more about you. Um, this last year, I'm the independent superstar songwriters hall of fame um i went in one of the songwriters a lifetime um songwriter and that's with franz martiz um and that's with uh air play express okay well tell me what you did last year well that's one of the things that I did. Um, I went into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. How nice. Su superstar. Oh, how wonderful is that? Where is that located at? Um, it's around the world. Around the world. Yeah, and every and uh, singers go on that, but it's called um, Independent Superstars, www.wildhorse.com. C O dot Z A. Oh, how nice. Of, I went into the Hall of Fame. That's got to make you feel proud. Dot C O dot Z A. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's got to make that's you feel real proud. I, I see that. That's a big website. It's got, it's Wild Horse. It looks like it's uh, out there. Well, I, I don't know where ZA is, but it looks pretty impressive. You're one of the independent superstars. That has to make you feel so good because primarily you're a gospel singer and you sing a lot of country songs. What, what, refresh my memory. Tell me, uh, tell the people a little bit about, about you if they didn't listen to the last podcast we did. Okay, I grew up outside of Rochester, Minnesota. This is where the Mayo Clinic is, right here in Rochester, Minnesota. Mm -hmm. And then when I grew up, I graduated from my hometown, Sturtville, Minnesota. It's 12 miles south of Rochester. 
And when I, after I graduated, my dream was to go into the service. Mm -hmm. So I went to basic training at Fort Jackson, South Carolina. Yep. And then after that, I went to Fort Lee, Virginia, in San Antonio, Texas. But I was in the service. I would sing at NCO clubs. And to back up, growing up in high school, um, my family would go to nursing homes and sing at Christmas or on the holidays. And then when I grew up, um, I would sing. Like, uh, we would sing as a family in different places and like church. But when I was in the service, like I mentioned, when I was in the Army, I would go down and sing at the NCO clubs. My mother wasn't proud about it. Um, I was glad, though, to sing to some of the soldiers. We did some Diana Ross's songs, Chaka Khan and Rupa's. We did Helen Reddy's, and I would sing. But after I got service, I can't sing as much. And, and then I went on to the post office right here locally. I worked at the United States Post Office, Keys. And then after that, I had some heart issues in 2005. I have heart disease. Mm. And I had cold blue. That means you pass, ready to pass on. But they got me going again, my heart going. After that, I had to decide, was it the post office or my family and relax and take time out for me? I did. I quit the post office. It was the hardest thing that I probably ever done. But I knew my son and me and my husband and my mother then and my family. And he told me that I needed to quit. We had time alone, prayer, and we talked. And mama wanted me to quit the post office because my heart was getting worse and worse. So I picked up the guitar and I started to sing songs, go to nursing homes. And then I went into different hall of fames and I'll bring that up to you. And I'm really glad that I went on to this dream of mine. I have pushed myself. I have made made myself a better person, I think, because of this. Um, and a singer that told me to excel. And I'll bring her up. Her name was Dottie Rambo. And a wonderful singer. I had met with her in 2008, a week before I was going to get my degree here at Rochester, Minnesota. A week before we were, I was going to go see her and go to a concert in Wisconsin. And when I got there, the concert was done. And my husband and my son waited for me, not knowing that I was going to go in Dottie's bus. We had a wonderful visit, probably 45 minutes, Keith. We talked about stuff we sang together. A wonderful, godly lady, great talent. On the morning that I was going to graduate on Mother's Day morning, she had a bus accident, and she went home to be with the Lord. But when I was alone with her, she told me to excel and push hard. And I wrote a lot of songs on the way to see her that Thursday night when I saw her. A wonderful, talented lady, one of the best. But I'm glad Lord and my Redeemer gave me the privilege to be alone with her and sing our songs um, and share our talent. He's well, it sounds like meeting Dottie was a very powerful uh, part of your life that really changed uh, the direction of your life because you were having uh, some physical problems, some heart problems. You ha had to uh, to leave your regular job that was providing you know food for your family and, and sustenance for yourself, 
and and then you had to pursue this guitar thing. So I'm I'm so glad that you met up with Dottie. Uh, you know, and I guess you you said that she she died shortly after you had that that chance meeting, uh, um, getting to talk to her. Is that right? Yes, Keys. I met her Thursday evening. We sang in her bus. Mm -hmm. We talked about the Lord and our tragedies. And we talked about my mom. My mom and I were very close. Um, we visited about certain things that on Sunday morning, she went home to be with the Lord. I didn't find out about that till after the graduation party. And my brother told me. And I went down to sit with my mom at the nursing home. Um, it was a shock to me. But I'll say this, and I want the world to know if anybody's listening tonight, Keys. Yes. Dottie was one of the best. I could have I just stopped singing, gave up. But she told me one thing that evening. She said, Gloria, whatever you do, pursue it and excel and push for your dreams. And that evening... It was, has always been a hard round Mother's Day. It gets pretty difficult for me sometimes remembering that. But I'm glad my Redeemer and my Lord, like I told you, geez, let us have that opportunity. She was one of a kind. Well, it sounds like she had that one last thing to do before she left uh, for her uh, for her reward for her heavenly reward. And I, I notice on your on your bio it says, "For the Lord God is a sun and shield; the Lord gives grace and glory. No good thing does He withhold from those who walk uprightly." That's from Psalms eighty four eleven. Now, what does that mean to you in your life? Well, I've been through tragedies. In my life, I've had some miscarriages, and when um, women go through that, and are and even the and the the man, the fellow, mm -hmm. it's it takes like the rug right out from under you. You're expecting something in your life, and you have a tragedy. And I've had numerous some miscarriages. Uh, my mother was went blind before she died. My dad had cancer. Or a heartache comes. We can look to the Lord. We can have friends, a mother and a dad. I was very close to my mom. I mentioned keys, but and my husband. But when you're faced with the tragedy, all we have is is our Lord. Well, it sounds like your faith is a very big part of who you are, Gloria Nyhart. I mean, you 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 do a lot of the gospel music. Is primarily uh, what you're singing is the gospel music? Uh, is it uh, stuff that you've written on your own, or is it uh, gospel favorites? And what is your your favorite uh, stuff to sing while you're traveling around this? Well, I, I guess you stay mostly in, in uh, Minnesota, or you still get to travel around? I travel around, but lately I haven't. I've had some other issues going on. But um, my songs I've written, I, I sing um, all my songs except the song Silent Night. That's the only song that I don't sing. I've written around 800 songs. Wow. I've written Patriotic. I've written a song for Joanne Cash Yates. Kind of, Lulu Roman of Hee Haw. I wrote a song for Charlie Pride. I wrote, I've written um, Israel songs. I've written Christmas songs and holiday songs. I've written songs for Jerusalem, a Mother's Day song. So you kind of have a idea kind of different um, songs that I've written. So I've kind of uh, hit the realm of it. I, you know, had pretty much different songs in different areas. Oh, that's for sure. You have uh, uh, quite a few songs uh, on your SoundCloud, on your Reverb Nation. Uh, Forgive Us, Lord, Master's Love, Walk Up Rightly. Uh, you have uh, a lot of songs that, that are featured out that way and 
and man, I'm so happy that, how did you get involved with the, um, with the award show? How did they, how did you come under their radar? What song was it that they, they found over at the wild horse that they said, huh, we need to look more into, uh, Gloria and I how, how did they find out about you? Well, some other singers, I uh, have brought my name up or came forward. I've been winning awards probably back in since 2010 um, awards and certificates. And um, another one that I won this last year, 2000, uh, 2022, I wrote the, I got the gold desk award for, for radio and DJs download presented to me, Gloria Nyhart, recognizing worldwide downloads for Airplay Express, Airplay Express radio release. The Lord is our friend. And that was a platinum. And I got that and that's on my wall. Wow. That is amazing. Well, and I noticed that when I look you up on, on YouTube, you have quite a few people that are, that are helping you to get your, your name out there. Uh, I, I'm not sure that you have your own YouTube page, but you do have, oh, okay. You do have the, the Gloria Nightheart Nightheart music page. And there's quite a few songs on that one. If anybody wants to take the time to take a listen, uh, check out Gloria Nightheart music on the, uh, on the YouTube page. Uh, you know, t- I mean, t- tell me, uh, you've been doing this for a long time. My goodness. Uh, I'm so, and that, and I guess these, those are available on, on Dreamland Land Studios, and then you have your own Gl- Gloria Nyhart music. I've been subscribed to that since the last time that we chatted. But have you <laughs> been adding to that? I, I saw that the last oh the last thing was a couple of years ago. Last time we talked, uh, you, it, it seems to be the last thing that you put on your YouTube page. Have you been making new music since then, or has your yeah. your illnesses uh, been keeping you away from that? No, I've written a lot more songs for Jerusalem. I've written more Christmas songs or holiday songs. I've written more patriotic. And I'm planning on putting up another website, uh, get a fresh one going, and get a lot of songs out there. That's my goal and my dream, to get my songs out there and let people hear my music and see the videos. There's a lot of videos oh, on YouTube. <laughs> There are a lot of videos. If I if you look up on Gloria Nyhart Ministries dot com, uh, that is the spot that's gonna you're gonna be able to find out how to get a hold of uh, of Gloria Nyhart. And you know you can there's even an, a mailing address if you want to mail her a little something. Uh, she'll she gave you the the address there in Stewartville, Minnesota. Uh, how, how how's the weather up there in Minnesota? Is it cold? Is it freezing? That's what I imagine. Well, it's cold tonight, but we're going to be having snow uh, Wednesday night and Thursday. Uh-huh. I don't have any inches, but we're going to be getting snow again. Uh-huh. So how was your how was your Christmas? Did you have uh, a lot of snow on Christmas, and did you have some family around you at least a little bit? Bitter, bitter cold. <laughs> we had family, and it was bitter cold here in Minnesota. So it was one of them times again, you know, when you get the cold weather here. <laughs> Well, as long as you have family around to keep you warm, hopefully. Did you have anybody uh, visiting with you? Yes, we had my husband's relatives. Oh, that's nice. That's nice uh-huh. that they stayed. And then I, was, I didn't want to interrupt um, my last award that yes. came here in the last few days. It's Merry Christmas. And um, I got to get the paper on that. Uh, I got a platinum on that. Wow. And um, um, it's my song, Merry Christmas. And that went out to the DJs. Mm. And it's a wonderful song. And um, I wrote that song, Keys, right before my mom passed away. And it's probably in a little lower key than I usually do um, because I'm Sprano. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I said, the song... Um, I out of uh, thirty people, it went to platinum, and I was so glad. Um, I didn't think it would. My husband didn't think it would either, but um, the Lord was with me on that one. 
and uh, I got and and there's another award from um, uh, Airplay Express Radio Lease. And I knew around Christmas, um, you know, getting cookies made and and wrapping gifts and getting a few things done here. They gave me the word that I uh, had the platinum there for my song. And it's a beautiful song. If you're on YouTube, it's yes. called Merry Christmas. How nice is that? I know the last time we talked, we talked about your Mother's Day song that you, I guess you, you wrote that for your mother, right? No, a friend of mine, she couldn't have children. I got you. And it's talking about the barren woman mm. and a woman that can have children, but she raises other children. Um, yes, and I wrote a different song for my mother. Mother's holding the Bible and the U.S. flag in her hand. Mm -hmm. And that's another Mother's Day song. But this other Mother's Day song is talking about, like I mentioned, the barren woman, the woman that can't hold a child in her womb. But she's raising somebody else's kids and adopting them. And that's called the Mother's Day song. That's a nice song, too, Keith. You have such a big heart, such a big, beautiful heart that, uh, that that's open to the world, really. And you just want to give this good music out to, to the people and, and make them feel good and make them feel a certain kind of way. It's very uplifting, uh, you know, not just with the, the gospel. If you, you know, whether you believe in, in, in you know, the, the gospel, what the teachings are, it, it's a good way to, to live, I think. You know, it's, uh, it, it's uh -huh. very harmonious. It's... Uh, it's teaching you how to be a good person. If you if you can't figure out how to be a good person on your own, uh, you could do worse than reading the Bible and and trying to figure out you know some some good teachings in there. Uh, I've read the Bible a few times. I know there's some good good words, some good words of advice in there, and you're putting those words of advice into song and helping to spread the the message that way. Uh, now, when you when you do your ministries, is it all through music, or do you have a, a preaching element of it? Uh, is there uh, getting up on a pulpit in front of a congregation? Do you do that as well, or or is that something else? Well, I've I've ministered for Mother's Day um, at churches in different towns. A friend of mine usually goes with me, and we go to different towns for uh, like the Red Hat Ladies. We go to uh, Wednesday night Bible study. We go to different church functions. They invite us. Um, a daughter's mother's banquet. I've been to a few of them. And then I get up and speak. Uh, she doesn't. But she plays the piano. And uh, she. Uh, we do some Dottie Rambo songs. We do, uh, we do hers. And then we do my songs. Or we might grab the hymnal and do a few songs out of the hymnal. How sweet is that? Uh, now, when you're okay, what are your favorite songs to sing out of the hymnal? If you if you can choose uh, five, uh, three or four or five, even uh, what would be the ones that you want to pick out of there? Amazing Grace. And my mother loved the song in the garden. I don't know if you've heard of that. I must have heard in the garden at some point. Hum a few bars and I'll fake it. And shall we gather at the river? You ever heard of that one, Keys? No, I'm afraid. I, I, I don't know that I've heard in the garden or in, uh, shall we gather around the river? You know, of course, Amazing Grace is a staple. You know, when you when you go, uh, when you're celebrating somebody's life after they've passed, uh, Amazing Grace is definitely one to pull out. Uh, it, it's very somber yet uplifting at the same time it really sets the the tone properly but can, can you can you sing a little bit of the other two songs that you like shall we gather at the river beauty beautiful river and you know wow. and then it goes on i don't have the words right now how beautiful but, uh, is that I, you said shivers uh, up my spine gloria and i heart just the way you sing uh, uh, you can tell the joy in your in your voice when you sing like that uh -huh. but on the way since you have me singing i think i can i'll try to take uh, a drink of water here yes ma'am <laughs> another song that i wrote and i would like to say this 
since we're singing about singing, mm -hmm. on the evening when I saw singer Dottie Rambo, and I know God, God was with me all the way on this. On the way to see her, I wrote 35 songs, key. Wow. And I was writing them on toilet paper. We had that in the car, and I was grabbing off a cereal box. I was trying to rip it. And the tears were coming out of my eyes because I never had a moment in my life like this. Um, and my husband... I'll tell you why we got late to Dottie's concert. We had a flat tire oh. with the Ford Taurus. I don't know if it was the Ford or the car, <laughs> but we had a flat. But one of the songs I wrote, He's My Jehovah. I'd like to just sing the beginning of it. Could I tease? If you'd like. The song will always be in my heart on the way to Dottie's. Please. Um, I hope I'm in tune. He's my Jehovah, King of kings that I adore. He's been there in the morning and through life from storms. He carried my baby in when I was awful sad, he held me in his arms, and he never left me. And I couldn't even hit the last note, sir. I'm sorry. Oh, that was beautiful, Gloria and I heard. Uh, unfortunately, with this uh, technology that we have, you cut out a little bit, but the parts that I heard were very go beautiful. I could tell you have a, a, a lovely voice, and I'm sure that anybody that comes out to, to see you sing, you know, if they come out to, eh, possibly they can come out to one of your, your church goings, one of your ministries. Uh, how do they find you on the ministries? Are you you still doing that, or is it only on Mother's Day in uh, the Rochester area? Right now, I'm just not singing for a while. Okay. Um, I've had some um, issues come up, um, some health issues, like I mentioned. Mm -hmm. And, um, um, you know, my family knows, and uh, I could tell you later, key, key's yeah. alone. That's fine. But, um um, just in the last year, I've kind of slowed down, but I'm going to be getting back to the recording studio. The fellow that does my CDs, he's printing them off today, yeah. and I'm writing a book about myself, about singing. Uh, it's a song book about different songs that I've written, different awards I've been given, and people that have pushed me along life way to get me where I want to go. Well, it sounds like you have uh, at least your husband and his family helping you out and backing you up and, and uh, gi giving you that, that good comfort at home uh, to, and, and giving you the, uh, the ability and the, and the, uh, and really supporting you while you're on, on, while you're making these songs and, and playing your, your songs. You still uh, able to play guitar? Oh yes. I play the guitar a lot. My son loves my music. My husband does. I play it around the house here. Yeah. Um, every year I'm in the in the uh, Sturtville Parade. That's on July 4th, Independence Day. And uh, getting back to awards, still in the MACMA. It's called the North America MACMA Country Music Association. And um, I... Last year, since the COVID was on, mm -hmm. we went back to the year 2020, and I received numerous awards, and I put them in my high school here where I graduated, and the book from MACMA, and some articles about me, and my Sturtville High School showcase by the choir room. Oh, that's got to feel good to be able to give back to your to your house, your high school, your alma mater, the people that taught you, that gave you the bass uh, to get out there and sing. Uh, you were in the choir way back when, 
And who would have thought that all these years later, you're still singing. That's wonderful. Yes, I felt this would be good. The principal came forth, some city uh, people came forth, and on the council, uh, relatives, they thought that would be good in the Sturple High School. So when I walk in there down by the choir room, my trophies from MACMA, from, um, and that's at Pigeon Forge in Tennessee. You know where that is. Well, I've heard of it. I, I, I might have gone by it, but I've never been to it. <laughs> Uh huh. But that's called North America MACMA Country Music Association, and I have new of awards from here, and that's wonderful to be in association with other singers, and you meet them. And but I'm I won't be going down there probably for the next few years. I got some issues here going on, and then I wanted to bring. Up uh, the Hall of Fame that I went into, like the one that I brought up earlier, mm -hmm. the Independent Superstars Songwriters Hall of Fame. I'm so glad I went into that one and I brought that up earlier. Oh, but I'm so first, happy for you. Uh, but the first Hall of Fame I went into was in 2015. And that was the Iowa whole, Old Time Country Music Hall of Fame in Lamar's, Iowa. And um, that was one great Hall of Fame, my first one. And I had the privilege of bringing the, uh, the plaque and the trophies home to Mama. And I'll never forget, that was my first Hall of Fame. And then I went into the Texmo Gospel Music Association Hall of Fame. 20, 2017, and that was from Billy Holcomb. He had called me and he said, I want you to go in. He passed away uh, just not too long ago. He's, but I was so glad that he got me into the Texmo Hall of Fame. That's out of Texas. Another Hall of Fame I went into is called the Georgia Gospel Country Bluegrass Wall of Fame and the Georgia Gospel Country Bluegrass Wall of Fame. And I'm so glad that I'm in a few of them. I'm proud of myself, but it's a lot of work and what you want to do in life. Well, I mean, that's beautiful that you, you make this music and, and it's nice to get rewarded and nice to get recognized. I mean, a lot of people say they, they make the music for themselves. Uh, they don't make it for the awards. They don't make it for the money. But it's nice still to be told that you've done a good job and not just having people in front of you and clapping that that's wonderful as well when they come to one of your shows or they come to to one of your ministries uh, it's got to feel good but when you know uh, 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 when people vote and decide that your song is worth taking some time out giving you a plaque uh -huh. giving you an award that's that's that has to be uh, that has to, to to fill your heart and make you want to go even further and make more music is that right yes it is and you, like I said, you're, it's, it's good to be in competition with others. Mm -hmm. It makes you excel more. It makes you want to push for other songs. And I noticed this, um, if I could mention, Please. I wrote a song, America, the land that I love. And like I mentioned, every 4th of July, Independence Day, my little town, has their 4th of July. I try to be in the parade, throw Maudie beads, candy, pens, hand out USA flags, or what, anything that I can for my town. But this one year before my passed away, I went to the nursing home and I wrote the song. I got the song to the copyright office. He said I could sing it. But the song is called America the land that I love. It talks about the soldier boys. We go to church for peace and, and for the soldiers in America. 
Praise the Lord for the land of America. Uh, thanks for each other and, and be proud of our flag. And that's what, what I wanted to write about that song, America the, the, that I love. Well, because you, you definitely ser served as well when you were in the service. I guess you were in the Army. Is that right? Yes, I was. I went into the Army, mm -hmm. and then I went into the National Guard and the Reserve. And then I've written some other songs, patriotic, God bless her nation. You can see them there on YouTube. I'm proud of America. Like the other one that I brought up. Mama's holding her Bible and the U.S. flag in her hand. It speaks about Mother's Day, but it speaks about America. And Mother's proud of her Bible and her flag and what we stand for. And I think as America, we've gotten away from uh, the things of America. I don't know what your belief is, Keys, but we've kind of gotten sloppy. Um, I've noticed this. But, but maybe because I was in the service. Mm -hmm. But outside my, my house window, there stands the big USA flag. And I'm proud of my country. And I'm glad I served all them years. Well, that's beautiful. I, I, if you've been in the service of this country, it has to change the, the way you feel about it. Whether, you know, you have to know, uh, you know better, better than people that, that haven't uh, given in the service, you know, there's people that, that have given all, uh, but you gave some, and that's a, that's a beautiful thing. I, you know, it's, it's something that I could not do. My brother was in the Navy and I was going to go in, into the Navy and I just, I, I didn't make it. I got in a motorcycle wreck before I could go in and it, uh -huh. you know, things change your life. You know, when you talk to Dottie, that changed your outlook on life. You thought maybe the post office was, was what you're going to do for the rest of your life. But uh, talking to Dottie yeah. changed you in a way that, hey, you had to uh, to go pursue this music. Uh, that that was probably one of her last things uh, to do on Earth was to to point you in the right direction or at least in yeah. this direction, which is great. Yeah, it was. Uh, like I mentioned, it was Thursday night and Sunday morning. She was gone home to heaven to be with our Lord. Oh, yeah. But Thursday night, like I said, Keys, it was a wonderful night. We just had a wonderful night for 45 minutes. And there's times I wish I could turn it back, but you can't. No, I believe that to be true. Uh, you know, you keep doing what you're doing, uh, Gloria. I know we've taken some time from you and I'm always so happy when you come on the, what makes you famous podcast. And I'm so happy that you, you, you know, you think you've gotten those awards and I'm, I'm so happy that you got the awards, but then I'm, I'm happy to know you. And I'm sure there's lots of people all over this great world of ours that, that are happy to know you and happy to know that you exist and that you, you keep on putting that good music out there and uplifting people and, and teaching those good words and, and ministering to people. You know, if you do believe in the Bible, it says you're supposed to go out and minister to people and, and, and spread the word, mm -hmm. spread the, the good news. Uh, you know, so that's, that's part of what it means to be a Christian or, or to, to, to have that faith. And so uh, I think you're doing the job. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing according to your faith. And that's, that's wonderful. <laughs> uh, and tonight I would like to thank a few people. I didn't do that before keys I when I was on the program, if you'll let me, um, if that, if that's okay. Oh, please do go ahead. Mm -hmm. I want to thank tonight Dion Pride, Charlie Pride's son, Dion. He's a friend of mine for coming to my little town and singing here for my for my uh, friends in Sturtville and my family. My mother just loved Dion Pride, Charlie Pride's son. I want to thank Dottie Snow. I want to thank Glenn Tubbs, her husband in heaven, the uh, Dottie Tubbs, I know there's rough days ahead, but uh, we both have the Lord. I want to thank my friend Joanne Cashier, Johnny Cash's sister. Um, I wrote a song for her. We both went into the Old Time Country Music Hall of Fame the same day in Lamar's. Joanne, I hope life is treating you good. I want to say hello to Stella Parton, Dolly Parton's sister. I want to 
thank the Lord for group that came here to Minnesota and why you testament, Chris. I want to thank you for your time and your help. I want to thank you. If you're out there, I want to thank you. You have a beautiful talent. I want to thank Adam Knight and his family that came here to Minnesota. I want to thank my friend Kelly Klein from Nashville and Deborah Carter Peel, the Promise Trio. I think that's what it is. But some of these, I want to thank you. You've always been inspiring to me, and I want to thank you for always your prayers. Thank you, Keys. Well, I thank you so much, uh, Miss Gloria Nyhart, and I, I look forward to hearing more and seeing more from you in the in the future as time progresses. I hope that your health uh, gets better. You know, whether it be through medicine or or through your faith. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people uh, take prayer into consideration and 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 do that as well. But uh, you know, hopefully, you 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 get uh, to feeling well enough to get out on the road. And spread the good uh-huh. word through your music and through your your words, <laughs> your talents. Uh, you know, they're, they're, you're too good uh, to be uh, stuck inside the house. But hopefully, uh, you can get more, uh-huh. re- at least more recordings out there, and uh, and uh-huh. and put those out on your YouTube and Reverb Nation. I have the links to your various social networks and even your your website, uh, the Gloria uh, Gloria Nyhart ministries.com uh and uh-huh. you know if people do want to contact you and maybe hire you out or, or maybe uh have you come over and and preach the good word or or sing songs uh, how, how, how do they get a hold of you well they can go right there on uh facebook um they can get a hold of me that way or there's a phone number and an address right there um, like I mentioned, though, I'm not traveling right now. Yes. I do have some stuff that has come up. A lot of people on Facebook, I keys, you probably can see I'm up to 5,000. I had to delete a few, uh. but um, I um, have up, like I mentioned, toward 5,000. And uh, uh, people on Facebook, friends, a lot of singers, a lot of radio stations, and when I got a little sick here in the last three months, something come up and I decided to rest. But uh, the friends on Facebook are very supportive. The singers um, said to take it easy. And I didn't tell you, I had a wonderful graduation. I graduated from Winona State University in Winona here wow. with a degree. And that was a fun day. Um, I'm not really taking any classes right now with the university anymore. Uh, I'm gonna try to start this fall, my get my music degree. I got a few classes to take. That is so, so I, wonderful. That, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> uh, yeah, get the, a lot uh, of studying, a lot of studying, but a lot of fun. Oh my goodness, you're you're just ever forward, going further, uh, doing uh, doing the best that you can to to be a good person, to be a part of the society, part of the world. That's beautiful. Uh, keep on doing that. Ah, oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be counted amongst one of your friends. I know you can only fit 5,000 friends on your, on your Facebook page. And Hey, I get to be one of them. I, I'm privileged. Uh-huh. I'm one of the privileged few. Thank you. Thank you for that. And not to, not to break. Um, I was kind of surprised. Um, the America, the land that I love the song, um, right now I'm number eight wow. on the airplay express radio. So nice. Um, release or, or now they switched it. Maybe it's a video, but the, they're trying to get that song to different radio stations. My songs are being heard, and I would like to thank the radio stations. They're playing my songs in Belgium. They're playing my song in Scotland, in Ireland, in Canada, the United Kingdom, Europe, in the USA, and around the world. There's a few that I like to thank, if that's okay with you. Please do. 
I'd like to thank Russell. I think you're over in Ireland or the United Kingdom or Europe or Belgium. There's so many of them, keys, it's crazy. One morning I woke up before Christmas and this guy was trying to call me and he said, your songs are being played in Scotland. Would you talk, Gloria? So I mentioned, I was on a half an hour. I brought up the song Silent Night. That's the only song I mentioned earlier in the program mm -hmm. that I sing of anybody's song. And they played that and then they played numerous of Christmas songs. But I want to thank Russell, um, and Nina, um, uh, uh, Selena. I'd like to thank Slim um, and other radio uh, DJs. I would like to thank them for playing my and pushing my music out there. It's nice. It's, you know, once you put out a good song, people want to play it. People want to put it out in, into the world. Uh, you've given mm -hmm. you've given the people this good music, and, and ah, I'm so proud of you. And I'm so uh, – I could be a little envious of you because I've never put out a song. And here you've put out 800 songs. You, uh -huh. You've written eight, over, over 800 songs, and that's fantastic. You keep on going. Uh, you know, I, I don't know when it's going to be enough. Maybe never, <laughs> but I, I hope never. <laughs> like you said, you're, you're right, Keys. I sat here talking to you. Um, if I can't perform at a church or at a VFW uh, and do a patriotic song, I, I do want to get my songs to radio. Mm -hmm. They're played, like I mentioned, in Belgium and the United Kingdom and, um, you know, Switzerland and anywhere over there. And, Min and you know, here in Minnesota, small stations mm -hmm. and, you know, in the USA here. But the thing is, um, if I can, I'll try to get them to the Airplay Express radio to the DJs. Yes. And be in competition with the other singers. And if the song don't make it that time, try another one. And that's my dream and my goal. Well, that's a good tip for the next independent artist or the next artist that are coming up in your footsteps. Uh, you're teaching the next generation. All right. Well, we've taken up enough of your time, I think. Uh, you know, as time progresses, I want you to come back and chit-chat with me. Congratulations on all those awards, those accolades. Keep on going and doing what you do. But I, I like to finish this thing off with last words for the people. I want you to give some words of advice or some words that you heard a long time ago or just whatever whatever pops into your head at this moment in time. Uh, Gloria and Ihard, give the last words for the people. Well, I first want to thank everyone um, for enjoying this tonight. I'm, I think first, I want to thank you, Keys, for putting me on the program again. But I want everybody, if you are a singer and you're in different organ, organizations or associations, push for your dreams and push for your goals. And I hope the best for you. Um, and my health is getting better. I'm going to the Mayo Clinic here. But I want to thank Keys again. And God bless America. Well, there you have it, party people. Gloria Nyhart. What a sweet lady. Check out Gloria Nyhart Ministries.com. Find her on Facebook, Gloria Nyhart, N I H A R T. Gloria. I mean, with a name like Gloria, you can't help but sing to the Lord. Gloria. I mean, that's that's a song in itself when you say the name Gloria. It's part of the song. It's part of uh, a lot of gospel songs singing Gloria. I, I know she's had, had that her whole life, I'm sure. And uh, I hope your health gets better and you can travel around the world, Gloria and I heart. And, and keep spreading that good word, that good news, that good gospel, that good music uh, to the people. 800 songs. My goodness. That's, that's amazing. Amazing. You are amazing, Gloria Nyhart. Thank you so much for being on the podcast. I look forward to hearing more from you, Gloria Nyhart. That's it for this edition of What Makes You Famous. Now, if you, yes, you, my loyal listener, if you'd like to tell your story, I encourage you to give me a call, 
or email keysdan at aol.com. That's it for me. It's keysdanradiowhat.com, djlittlerock.com. Peace. I'm out of here.